we're going to solve some simultaneous equations. Now, these are a little bit more challenging because of the powers. We've got squared terms here. So what we're actually looking at with this question is a circle and a straight line. So x squared add y squared is actually the equation of a circle. So if we just give a little sketch for what this would look like, we would expect to see a circle. x squared add y squared is 25 is um, a circle centered about the origin uh, with a radius of 5. So it looks a little bit like that. And then we've got y minus 3x equals 13. Now with straight lines, we're used to seeing them with y as the subject. So that's the first thing I'm going to do here. y equals, and I'm going to add 3x to both sides. So y equals 3x add 13. And then we know that that is a, is a straight line with a gradient of 3 and a y-intercept of 13. So it's going to cross way up here uh, and probably look something like that. I don't know. So we've got potentially two different places where this equation and this equation are equal to each other because they cross at two potentially two places. So what we're going to do when we're solving this question is find those two points, find the two places where the circle and the straight line intersect. Now, drawing it is quite helpful to know what it looks like, but it's not going to be essential for this question. So I'm just going to rub that out and then we will begin. So First thing we're always going to want to do is take the linear one, that's the one with no powers, and make y the subject of the formula, or make x the subject of the formula, whatever's easier. In this case, it was a lot easier for us to make y the subject of the formula. So we now know that y is 3x add 13. And we're going to substitute that in to the first equation, this one. So sub into 1. And to do that, we need y squared rather than just y. So y squared, now, you can't just do y squared and then put a squared on 3x squared and a squared there. That's not going to work, okay? You can't do that. Um, we need to square the whole side. So to square that, we're going to do 3x add 13 squared. And when we square a bracket, we write it out twice. So 3x add 13 multiplied by another 3x add 13. And that is 9x squared, add 39x, add another 39x, add 169, which is 9x squared, add 78x, add 169. And that is y squared. So now that we know that that's y squared, we can substitute it in to this equation. So instead of writing y squared we're going to write this because we know that they're the same thing. So now I'm going to write x squared add 9x squared add 78x add 169 equals 25. So all I've done is I've put that instead of y squared because we know that that is equal to y squared. And now we've got no y's, so that's going to enable us to solve it. Okay, so we've now got is 25. We've now got potentially a quadratic because I've got x squareds um, over here. So 10x squared, collecting our like terms, add 78x, add, now I don't want it to equal 25, I want it to equal 0 because quadratics to be able to solve them, solve them need to equal 0. So 169 take away 25 is 144 and that equals 0. Now, all of this is even, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2 just to make this a little bit easier to factorise. And that is 5x squared add 39x add 72 equals 0. OK, and then we'll solve it by factorising. So it's going to be 5x and x. And then we need two numbers that multiply together to make 72. So that could be 1 times 72 or 2 times 36 or 3 times... Uh, 24, 3 there, and 24 here, because then I've got 15x and 24x, and that will make 39, so plus and plus. Good, and to make that equal 0, either 5x add 24 needs to equal 0, so 5x is minus 24, and x is minus 24 divided by 5, which is minus 4.8, and then for the other bracket, x just equals minus 3. So there we go, we've got our first two solutions. x number 1 is minus 4.8 and x number 2 is minus 3. Now what that's actually given us is the x coordinates of the two points where it crossed. So we know that minus 4.8 is the x coordinate of, oh no sorry that one's going to be minus 3 um, and this one's going to be minus 4.8. 
because it's further to the left. So we've got the x coordinates of both. We now need the y coordinates. We now need y1 and y2. So the y coordinate we can get, the easiest way to get it is to use this equation here. y is 3 lots of x add 13. So 3 lots of minus 4.8, minus 4.8 times 3, add on 13 is minus 1.4. So these two are going together, hence the little ones. And then for the other one, we're just going to do the same thing. Three lots of minus three. Add 13 is four. So those two go together. And that's my final answer. It's a really challenging question. Definitely grade seven or eight um, up at the top end of the GCSE. So well done if you followed along. I'm going to do a second version now. So this one I think is slightly nicer. Um, We've not got x squared and y squared. We've actually got a y here and we've got a y here. So with a clever bit of rearranging, we can do this one a little bit easier. This is a quadratic, so we know on a graph it's going to look like this. And this one's linear, so maybe a straight line. And it's going to cross, I don't know, potentially two different times. So with the bottom one, again, the linear one, we want to make x or y the subject of the formula. Here I'm going to make y the subject of the formula by adding y to both sides and then adding two to both sides. So I'm gonna get two x add two equals y. So now that I know that y equals two x add two, and y also equals two x squared minus three x minus 10, we can just make them equal each other. So two x squared minus three x minus 10 equals two x add two. And then because it's a quadratic and we want it to equal zero, we're gonna take away two x from both sides and take away 2 from both sides. So 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 equals 0. And that would factorise 2x and x in the brackets. And multiplying to make 12 is either going to be 1 times 12, 2 times 6, or 3 times 4. And to make that make minus 5, if we use the 4 here, and we make it minus, minus 8x plus 3, then that should work. So x equals 4 or x equals minus 3 over 2 and that comes from making this bracket equal 0. Okay so we've got our two different x coordinates let's make that x1 and x2 and then to find out what y is I'm going to use the top equation here this nice simple one y is the subject of the formula and use the linear one because uh, it's going to be easier so I'm going to do two lots of minus 3 over 2 which is minus 3 add 2 is minus 1, and same with this one, 2 lots of 4 is 8, add 2 is 10. And there's my final answer. So a lot easier if that's going to be what the question looks like, but we don't know, you might get it either way. Hopefully that helps, leave me any questions in the comments.